Hello, people, and welcome back to some more Luigi's Mansion 3 with me, Vito, and Robert Lane. Your voice was so powerful, it made Luigi jump. It's like, why? Why am I hearing voices? These voices in my head, where did they come from? Why do they torment me? All right, so now we can finally go back up to, well, not back up, but we can finally get up to floor 14. Yep. Yeah, and we don't have to worry about that pesky cat anymore. Looks like he only had six lives. Well, he was a ghost already. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been his first three. Okay, that was fitness center. It's now the dance hall. For a moment, I thought instead of the fitness center, it said plasma center or something. I was like, wait, what? This is where they make all the plasma rifles for uh, the elites. <laughs> Yes. Wart, wart, wart. <laughs> yeah, this is actually a covenant scheme. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's where they make covenant ghosts. But I'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Uh. Money. Come on, what? It's like you don't actually need my help with this, do you? Okay, good. <laughs> uh, do I need to have Guichi over there? Yeah, the lights uh, turned green as a hint. Oh, I didn't even realize. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Okay, but first well, actually yeah, let's go down here first. It just makes me think of like a redstone contraption. Yeah, it kinda is. Whoa. Oh right. Guiji goes through bars. That hidden vault. Yeah. Money. There is one place that actually kind of makes sense to have all the money, except it's not that's not a typical kind of vault door. It's more of a prison door. Yeah. <laughs> Vaults are usually like completely solid with the huge wheel lock thing. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. There's probably a better name for it, but I don't know. We're not lock experts. We're not vault experts, whatever. I mean, I'm something of a vault, of a vault hunter. Different game. <laughs> yeah. We're just referencing other games at this point. Whoa. Ah! Hello, big guy. Ow. That was very rude. <laughs> it's like creepy ghost just waiting there to take your money. At the gas register. I can I get a uh, burger? No, can I get a? Uh, can I get a Mario? All right. The heck do you think you're doing, eh? When that, when the red ghost reappears, does he like flex or something? I think he does. He just goes into a pose. Dang. Beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. Oh, come on. How do I grab you? You're always so far into the freaking. He's just being difficult. Oh. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's going to take forever. It's like, why'd they make, why'd they need to make this fight in such a small space? Ah. 
How is... Okay. It's like the one point where you expect it to not work. It actually works. I'm not going to complain, but... Okay. Yay, I'm stealing money. Oh wait, that's what I've been doing this whole time. Why do I care? <laughs> it's ghost merch, I guess. That was a pitiful savings. <laughs> There's like two coins in that entire safe. The real safe was the hole in the wall. Yes. Apparently. You know where the spiders are. So just All right. <laughs> just had a really random thought. It's like the spiders are there to protect the money. Like literally, it's like their job. It's like <laughs> when when a spider becomes a successful loan shark, that's when they become a golden spider. It's just a random thought I had. Yes, see. I don't know. I was gonna say something about Lone Spider, but. Nah. Now there's just a trash bin in the middle of the stairs. This also looks like a pretty short floor. But hey, at least there's no cat around to make it even longer. True. Alright, let me guess, we're gonna get some sort of like Elvis ghost? I'm betting on it. Jeez. <laughs> okay, not what I was expecting, but... So, about that bet, how much do you owe me? Uh... 10% of whatever I get at the end of this mansion run. <laughs> <laughs> I dabbed! Good lord. I will kill all of you. I can book my coin. So, do you get how this works? Not really. It won't let me do anything. Okay, flash him. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's not quite clear that you need to flash him at that exact moment, but if you don't, this can take forever. Okay. There's actually some, uh, some, like, logic to how that works. Like, I think in the first dancing phase, one of them will be slightly offbeat, and that's the one that has it. Ah. Uh. And then you need to figure, like, you need to watch where he tosses it to know which one has it in the second part. Damn, I want those hearts.
Like, why are you wearing a meatball? <laughs> it just looks like it's got delicious some spaghetti. Give me some life. I'm trying to remember if there's a point where she's just vulnerable or if maybe you have to make her vulnerable with your jump. I'm not sure. Oh, wait. What if? Oh, didn't mean to do that. I have to get her into her own spinners, her own records. I don't, I don't know. Well, they don't last forever, but. Nope. Okay, I was actually kind of banking on that working. <laughs> I literally have no clue. Like, I think maybe it's right after she tosses them, you might need to jump at next to her or flash. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Aha. Uh -huh. Not so powerful without your meatball, are you? Power of meatball compels thee. Meatball? Sounds like you said meat all. Yes. Okay, so it's just after when she's doing that dance, after she throws it. Okay. How do you see where you're even going with that meatball? <laughs> I guess it's a talent. Okay then. Well, I did something at least. <laughs> Spawned in your face. Come on, don't you want to dance? Ow. Yeah, maybe just when she's throwing them, you might need to go next to her. Hmm. That might not even require that she be dancing, I don't know. Oh, yeah. wait. Okay. I keep flashing first, for some reason. I mean, that might be the way to do it, I don't know. No, I have to do that. I have to explode her meatball off. That's a weird sentence I never thought I'd say. <laughs> Whatever works. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Groovy. Did you just say groovy? I think so. <laughs> A payphone? <laughs> no, not quite. If you could see it from a side, from the side, you'd probably be able to tell where it is. Oh! All right. Don't get out of this. 
and start vacuuming. I'm fully charged. Oh god, not TF2. What's wrong with it? Eh, I just don't care for it. <laughs> I prefer Overwatch. Mm. Yeah, well, you can have your own opinion. Oh, that reminds me of one of Jacksepticeye's most recent videos. He just kept putting on hats. Why? It was as if to make him smarter or something. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Oh my gosh, so many meatballs over there. <laughs> yeah, the reason I said don't get out of this is because there's a time where I went back here to do it again a second time, and for some reason it didn't work. It didn't let me destroy everything I needed to. Like, it wouldn't destroy the doorway. Ah. So that's why I said, just in case, don't get out of this until you're completely done. Okay. I don't know if that's a bug or something, but... Oh, wait, there we go. Jeez, how many meatballs are there? Okay, is that a, I think that's about it. Yeah, I guess that's good. Last speakers won't go, but oh well. Okay. What? Okay, chair. Sorry, I wasn't looking. What happened? Uh, some stairs came up. Okay, um... Just because this... I'm pretty sure the wall comes back later and that bug might happen. Uh, to your right, see the missing uh, afro yeah. wig? Reveal one. Just want to make sure we can do this while we can, you know? Okay. And now suck it up. Uh-huh. Okay, assume that's all there is. I think so. So did this reveal the stairs to the left and right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was from the light slash, but... Yeah. All right, then uh, you want to go up there. Um... Oh, you found that one on your own. I mean, the floating lamp was kind of suspicious. I didn't, I didn't see the floating lamp there. I wasn't paying attention. Up here. So that's another one. All right, and just because, just in case the stairs retract or anything, I don't know if they do. Uh, the turntable, that's on the wall up there. Up there. Yeah. Whoop. Come on, Luigi. There we go. Uh. Start vacuuming it. And then get out, Luigi. Go to the opposite side and do the same. Ah. Oh. Actually, I don't know if it's vacuum or blow. Let me check. Well, the science isn't happening with vacuum, so. Oh. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Okay. Uh, was it just vacuum? Yeah. Okay. Like we're not we're not quite starting the gem hunt yet, but I just want to make sure we got those out of the way right. so that the bug wouldn't get in the way of it if the bug is still a thing. All right, were there any more in this area? No. Okay. So we are good. Hut two three four. Hut two three four. Down the stairs we go. Here to take vengeance for your common comrade. <laughs> like, well, too bad you, bleh, too bad you've committed the ultimate crime of dabbing. Yes. 
Even if it was just your friend, you must now suffer for your friend's transgression. It is just that unholy. Damn it. Run, die so I can get the gold. There we go. He looks so surprised there for a moment. <laughs> like, what? I did it? It's like, yeah, Luigi, you've been doing it this entire time. I've been doing it for three games. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Floor 15. Uh -oh. We're nearing the end. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we're going to get to a certain point on the 15th floor. Maybe not in this episode, but at a certain point, I'll tell you when, and then we'll go back and find all the art gems before we actually finish. Okay. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, just waiting. It doesn't feel that long ago that we started this game yeah. and we're already approaching the end and gonna have to start searching for another game unless you already have some in mind I was thinking maybe we could do Odyssey I don't know if you'd want to be the one playing or if you want to take a, ba a break from being the one playing take a bake <laughs> <laughs> uh. you could just be a commentator while I do Mario it's up to you eh, maybe we'll see because I, as I said in two or three episodes ago, there's there's a certain arrangement going on, and once that's done, we can start hooking up other consoles. Well, well. <laughs> still gotta look your best. Okay. <clears throat> How could my staff be so incompetent? There's no way Luigi should have gotten this far. I suppose I underestimated you and that professor. Just a tad. Congratulations on making it all the way up here, but that doesn't mean you've won. Actually, just be very, very good. You, Luigi. You're about to become the ultimate gift. Once I capture you and offer you to King Boo, he'll be absolutely delighted with me. In a way, this worked out splendidly. You might as well have wrapped yourself. Maybe King Boo will decide to display you next to this painting. I'll have to ask him. M -m -m Mario. Mario. Luigi. If you want to save Mario. It's like Marco Polo. <laughs> you'll have to come and find me. Try not to faint from sheer terror before then. I'll be waiting in anticipation. Just a little more, just in case. Mario. It's like that screen makes you look not fat, but fatter. Because <laughs> it's like wider than what it is. Camera adds 20 pounds. <laughs> Luigi, did you, did you see that? That was your big brother. Yeah, like we couldn't tell. <laughs> that means the hotel owner is finally making an appearance. It's finally time for you two to face off. Track down the hotel owner and rescue Mario. Forget about Peach. We don't need her. Who? Just like we am ling ling. Alright, now there appears to be a grate here or something. Huh. 
Aha. Uh -huh. The physics on that one was a bit weird. <laughs> now money. Like, I wonder what you would call that. Like, would it be considered, like, photophobic? Where, uh, the moment they touch light, they just die? I guess. <laughs> I guess it would be, actually. <laughs> Maybe we're <laughs> thinking too much about this. It's just a game mechanic. But that's just a theory. No. Actually, isn't it phobia of fear? Yeah, but sometimes it can also mean, like, if it causes a problem, hmm. I think. Oop, there we go. Uh, come on. Did you just appear already? Thank you. I mean, like, hydrophobia has kind of, like, three potential meanings, because... Hydrophobia could just be a natural fear of water. It could be a reference to rabies because that causes a fear of water. Or it could just be chemically um, hydrophobic, which means it will not mix with water. Yeah. Like uh, talcum powder. Some pretty cool stuff you can do with that. I did. Like, yeah, I didn't know rabies caused hydrophobia. Yeah. So, like... <laughs> okay. Hey, you found one. On your own. I just remember in that movie about Louis Pasteur, where rabies was a thing that he helped. I don't know if it was completely cure, but uh, they they kept calling it hydrophobia because that was like the primary symptom of it, ah. other than foaming at the mouth and biting. <laughs> but like whenever there was like a paper that was talking about rabies, they'd just say hydrophobia. I don't know. It was a long time ago that I watched that. Hmm. Dang it, I hit it. Die. I don't know if you can do anything with that. Damage looks almost 3D. Here, let's summon him. <laughs> I'd like to have a chat with you. What the heck is this? Oh. It's like, oh. It's like one of those puzzles from... Uh, Resident Evil 7? I don't know if you've seen any gameplay of that. Uh, Are you paying attention? <laughs> to you? A uh, little bit? I don't really play the Resident Evil games. Oh, wait. Unless... So you haven't seen anyone play the 7th one? Uh, I don't think so. Well, there were puzzles like this in it. Or it's like you had to rotate an object to make a shadow. Hmm. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> it's like, I could be wrong. I think it was seven. Yeah, sorry. I was just focused on the puzzle. Okay. Oh, hey, there's King Boo. Hi. Oh, we got. That's not King Boo. <laughs> but yeah, you mean the uh, statue? In the window? Yeah. Heck, come on, really? Yeah! So, what's in here? It's like, did someone track in sand or something? What? Those piles. Oh, that's a good. Ow! Look out, Luigi! There are invisible lasers all over the place! Good to know. See that powder on the floor? I bet you could use it. Use. I bet you could use burst to blow it up into the air. That'd probably reveal the lasers, even just for a short time. Okay. Yeah, I. <laughs> when I entered, I think, the hallway room before this, I, I had used the jump thing and all of a sudden. Or maybe it was in here. I did just use the jump thing and suddenly they appeared. Like, he didn't even tell me that's what happened, that it was powder or whatever. So I didn't even figure out why. 
when I jumped, the lasers all got revealed. I just knew it was a thing because I did it. Oh. Okay. This seems like a lot longer than a short while. Okay, there they go. So, can we just... Nope. <laughs> Melted. Huh. Seems simple enough. Ah, oh, the treasure room. What the? I don't know what that was that Luigi was doing. Also, why is there so much powder in here? For plot convenience? Because they needed to explain a way that you could see the lasers without just showing them outright, I guess? Even though I think it would have been fine if they did. Okay, uh... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Powering down. Shutting down. Are you still there? It's like, how many references to other video games can we make in this series? Uh... Never enough. I'm sorry, let me just destroy your public library of knowledge. It's like it's never enough? That reminds me of a song from a Test Drive Off Road. It's not enough. Really? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> also, it's funny how I got the key without even knowing what I need it for. And what we got here? Someone just throw shoes? I guess so. We couldn't find any better projectiles. <laughs> Pretty desperate then. Uh, oh my god. What the? the game just lag? I was I was thinking that. It was like it looks like it's going in slow motion. And I was like, wait a sec. Is it lagging? <laughs> I guess there's too much to handle. I mean, at least it wasn't choppy. True. And there's, here's another video game reference for you. It just makes me think of uh, Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. Because that game would slow down, but it would still look smooth. Yeah. But you could tell, like, the timer. It's counting seconds slower than actual seconds. It's like, hmm. Like, eventually you could go, like, three, like, Mississippi before it takes us another second, if it gets bad enough. <laughs> okay, who else is there? Come out wherever you are. Oh. Ow. Come on. Frickin'. Frackin'. Fraggle. Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Down in Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Down in Fraggle Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, for me, there was like an odd sense of mysteriousness for me regarding Fraggle Rock just because I didn't see a whole lot of it. It's really weird. Huh. <laughs> Hard to describe. Alright, so I think we can end the episode here. Um, alright. Uh... Yeah. So, goodbye. Bye-bye.